Okay, I want to give a disclaimer before you listen to this podcast. I will be discussing how mental health has been affected by the pandemic and I understand that some of the topics might be triggering to some, so please listen at your own discretion. I also do not want to diminish the global situation in any way, shape or form. Um, I'm just prioritising people's feelings, we could say, over anything else. So yeah, let's start. All right, so I wrote this whole thing while on a lecture and I was just sitting there thinking, damn, I'm not understanding absolutely anything right now. That one lecture, talking to my friends and even listening to my own feelings, as deep as that sounds, all of that got me thinking about what this year has been like and I'm here to take some things off my chest and hopefully you can relate to it too. So recently I have honestly been so unmotivated and even sad. Trust me, when I say that I'm normally a very happy person, I mean it, okay? I mean it. I used to be out almost every day, whether to go to university because I was meeting with a friend or even because I just felt like going shopping, you know? Even my friends would literally joke about how every time they would call me, I was always out. Now, now, before you get all defensive, oh, the pandemic, oh, it's just not... It's not just you being home right now. Get the fuck out of here, okay? I know what state we're in right now, but I'm not here to talk about this today. That's the TV's job. We all know. I'm here to talk about something that the TV is honestly, honestly and sincerely, in my opinion, not giving a single fuck about, which is mental health. Hello, topic. So, listen up, okay? I, just like many people out there, hit an all-time low during this past year when it comes to mental health. I genuinely never felt like this before. Not happy to wake up in the morning because I know that today is going to be the same as yesterday and guess what? Tomorrow is going to be the same as today. But okay, first, like, by any means, do not misunderstand me. I am and I will forever be grateful that my parents and I are in great health. We got COVID in April and we managed to heal quite quickly. So don't misunderstand me here. I'm healthy and there's nothing more important right now. But as I said, never ever in my life, I felt like this, like mental health wise. Let me, let me give you a rundown of what my week is like, shall we? So <laughs> I wake up, whatever day that is, I check if I have lectures. If I do, great hopefully I will actually learn something which is by the way really unlikely and if I don't have lectures then I try to keep myself busy with YouTube and oh my god when I tell you I am so glad I have this hobby of mine right now it is honestly honestly the only thing I look forward to like doing let's say planning filming usually takes a day editing takes another one or two Uh, depending on the length of the video and translating takes yet another one or two again depending on the length of the video so you can obviously see why i'm happy i got this little channel of mine but imagine those that don't have a particular hobby imagine how motivated they must feel like how can you blame them though that's what i'm saying like those people that relied on places like the gym or any sport related places that are now closed Those people are now stuck at home, not being able to do what they liked anymore. Maybe this is going to sound really materialistic, I don't know, but it's just like, it's what's coming to mind as I'm talking. And like, yes, maybe this can be solved by working out at home or outside or whatever. But I mean, as I'm recording this, it is snowing. It's been snowing for the whole night. So I don't know to what extent people are actually willing to jog in minus three degrees weather. Okay, so just saying. But I could actually talk about this whole thing for hours. But I promise I'm going to limit myself, okay? So let's get back to the actual topic. I remember my last days of college when I was talking to my teachers about university and stuff. And I remember them telling me how university years are going to be the best ones of your life. Well, let me tell you something, okay? Maybe not the best ones, but fuck me, they are quite unique. Like, I got enough rest, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe some people were really looking forward to that full immersion, university student life with dorms and parties. But I am personally not one of those because I live at home and I decided to commute instead. 
But I can imagine how disappointed those people can be at these so-called best years of your life. As I said at the beginning, I started to think about this whole thing during a lecture. And, and, speaking of lectures, I have never felt this dumb in my entire life, okay? I have always been the nerd, the one that understood everything and cried if she didn't get top marks. But now, oh my god, I do not understand what the fuck is going on. Like, what unit are we on? Deadline. What deadline? What what the fuck's the deadline for? I'm honestly so lost. I have been, I have been so lost. I don't know what we're doing. Like, I have been like this for the past months. All this, all this honestly gets me so stressed. And I know it's probably the same for other people as well. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Speaking of, speaking of. Teachers, okay? Teachers. They do not hesitate to send emails about lectures and work to do and deadlines and whatever they got lying around. But when you send them an email and you have a question about something, something, about something you didn't understand, they never answer. Or if they do, they are so fucking vague with it. Like, God. You, you don't hesitate to delegate a 2,000 word essay, but God forbid, if you write more than 50 words, your little hands will fall off, huh? Like, oh, but okay, okay, okay. But you know what? <sighs> deep breath in, <sighs> deep breath out. I'm not a teacher, so I don't know what they're going through. So as much as I would love to talk about that, I will refrain for now. I don't want this to be a long one because I could seriously talk about this for hours. This was just something I wanted to take off my chest. So everything I mentioned is everything that came up to mind. So I believe I am done now. And I can tell because my chest feels lighter now from a 34B to a 32 double A to be precise. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. The only thing I want to say is that, yes, my mental health is deteriorating by the minute stuck in these four walls. And it's, of course, not just because of the pandemic, okay? Absolutely not. Um, but I know there's people just like me out there that are feeling the same things I am. Or even worse. And to those people, I want to say, we got this, okay? Easy, easy. Come on, we got this. I just know I'm going to look like a fucking badass talking to my nephews in the future. And yes, I did say nephews because I don't want any kids, okay? Um, anyways, like, like, anyway, um, I will look like a badass telling them how I was stuck indoors for almost two years, couldn't go to places unless absolutely necessary, okay? See, we got this. We have to be like our parents that had to walk two hours to go to school. They had to walk in the absolute worst weather snow rain uh whatever as i said um i don't want to this is a bit of a short one um it's not as long as the other podcast i did last time but it was just like me wanted to take some things off my chest again please 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 if you listen until now if you are still listening do not think that i am um diminishing the pandemic in any way shape or form as I said I was one of those that actually did get COVID so I'm not one of those that's like oh my god COVID's not real nah fuck you <laughs> um I'm just saying that I wanted to talk about something that I f I am feeling firsthand and I can see my friends are going through or anyone I know so something that again the TV is not mentioning as much which is mental health so yes that's it I'll I'll stop I'll stop ranting now. I'm done. I feel my chest is now happy, lighter, whatever. So if you like the video <laughs> slash podcast, um, good, great, smashing. And I will see you next week or in the next video. Uh, bye.